why is the Wildcats, uh, I'm putting words in your mouth, but why did the Wildcats tick those boxes and why did you want to pursue this? Yeah, so uh, I feel like I'm going to be involved in this game for a long time. Uh, the sport's been great to me. I want to be great back to the sport. Um, and every franchise isn't the same, uh, as much as everyone likes to say they are. So Perth Wildcats has a lot of expectation. They have great history, great expectation. I like that. I know that I wouldn't function good where people are just trying to make something good. Like, to walk in, be with a franchise of Perth status, to have one of the league's best players, if not the best player in Bryce Cotton, to start your head coaching job uh, role uh, with that, you're hitting the ground running. And obviously last season was the end of a streak that's been talked about for so long. Is that almost an exciting thing for you, coming in and getting to reset and taking the franchise forward <laughs> off what was a disappointing end to last season? Yeah, you can say the streak ended, but uh, one thing I try to point out is there were 16 and 12. Um, if you're a business and you operated at 16 and 12, you'd still be a pretty successful business, I think, if that was considered your down year. Um, the streak, as far as being done, like my expectation is playoffs and higher. So um, e even if the streak wasn't broken and this was opportunity, like our expectation wouldn't have changed. And what about the process of interviewing for a head coaching job? What was that like sitting down with Danny and the owners and yeah. going through that formal process? Yeah, so uh, the rewind 12 months before that, I was in the mix uh, the previous, previous time. Uh, you learn a lot going through that process. The thing that I would say, and I would confidently say that they noticed, is I was more confident in my approach and just my bravado about pursuing and wanting the job uh, versus probably hoping I wanted the job the first time around. I reckon I've done probably <clears throat> 10 job interviews in my life, maybe more, 15, and it's always like, you know, what will you bring to our company? What are your strengths? Cool. Like, what yep. does a basketball head coaching interview look like? Are they getting you to show you what you're going to do with the team and, and things like that? What are the sort of differences? Yeah, so basketball first, I think you, you need to be able to show that you have a game plan, what your offense, what your defense is, uh, or you feel confident in what you're coaching. Uh, now, once you get there, the players really dictate how that evolves because uh, at the end of the day, good players make great coaches. I'll go out on a limb and point me in the direction of a good coach who had also ran players like good coaches have really really good players um but the other part of it obviously with what had gone on with the Perth Wildcats some of those things needed to be addressed understanding the dynamic of the club the expectation um so I just pointed out uh the, my personality and what I can bring I think I could really help with that part of it all I had certainly an understanding and knowledge although I never played for Perth I I could respect it from a distance and i I felt those 8,000, 9,000 fans on my shoulders, you know. So um, that part of it and just the way I was going to interact with the players and how I could build it into a good team. 